good coffee deserves good milk. In today's video clip, I am going to be reviewing these five commercial brands and find out which of them steam well and which one of them tastes and texture well with coffee drinks. Welcome back. A few weeks ago, I was making latte and cappuccino for family in the Philippines and it was the first time that I was doing it after a few years. So what happened was that I was not getting the texture and also the taste that I was looking for. Then I kept trying doing my pour, my latte art pour, and it still didn't work. So for those aspiring baristas out there making latte art, do not blame yourself. It could be that you are using the wrong milk. I have here six brands, but one of the brands, which is Milk Lab, I am going to review separately because this is not really available everywhere, but all these other five brands are available. So Jersey here, it says full cream milk. It is the cheapest of the five. And then we have Arla, which says natural milk goodness. And we have Emborg, which says full cream milk. Alaska, which says fresh milk and Jolly Cow, which is also saying it is fresh milk. So five different brands from the cheapest to the most expensive. When I say cheapest, the retail price of this one is about 70 pesos and this one is about 90 pesos. Now, if you buy them wholesale, you can also cut your cost. So how do you choose the right milk for your latte and cappuccino and all other milky coffee drinks? First, you have to look at the type of milk. In general, dairy or full cream milk will texture and stretch better than non-dairy milk and also alternative milk. Second is the brand. As you change the brand, you will see a significant difference in the taste and texture. Third, it is the price. Price is very important because you have to really look at your price point, how much you are selling your coffee drinks, and also how much is your budget for your milk. Unfortunately, with milk, you get what you pay for. So in today's video clip, I am going to steam all of them and find out which one of them steam well, and also find out the taste and the texture once this, the milk has been steamed. Let's start with Jersey Full Cream Milk. Next it is Arla, 100% natural milk goodness. Next it is Emborg Full Cream Milk. Next it is Alaska. Now Alaska is a very popular brand in the Philippines and uh, this fresh milk is just recent. I don't think it's been there for a while so let's see how it performs. And finally Jolly Cow Fresh Milk. Starting from Jolly Cow, let's take a look at the texture. Very creamy and definitely 
good enough for steamed milk. Now I'm going to taste it. Okay, tastes like fresh milk. Now I'm going to see Emborg here. Let's have a look at the texture. Now of course this has been steamed a few minutes ago, so it's still the texture whilst I was steaming Emborg is quite good. It's, it's textures and stretches beautifully. And now let me just taste it. This one tastes like full cream milk, um, nothing else uh, that tastes along with it, so I would say this is acceptable. And now let's look at Jersey. For Jersey, texturing was good, but the stretching was a little bit of a stretch. <laughs> and um, as you can see, the color is a little bit darker than all the others. And the finished product is not quite creamy, but let me give it a taste. Mm. Now, I can hardly taste the milk there. And now, let's look at Arla. For Arla, texturing and stretching performed very well. Now, let's see how it tastes like. Well, there is absolutely no taste of milk there. It was just so bland, very watery. It tastes less of milk than all the other brands so far. Now, let's take a look at Alaska. For Alaska, Again, texturing is good, stretching not as good, but let's see how it tastes like. Mm. Again, Alaska tastes like evaporated milks. In summary, I would say the taste of Jolly Cow Fresh Milk is good. It has a little bit of a taste like evaporated milk, not really a fresh milk, but the texture seems to be stable. Emborg, even though I have messed it up, it still looks very good. The texturing and stretching performed very well for Emborg, and the taste is that of full cream milk. I like the taste of this one. For Jersey, this one, texturing and stretching, both didn't perform well, and so I would say that this one does not really match hot latte or hot coffee drinks so um, it also has a darker color the taste is very much that of canned evaporated milk not a fan of this one now Arla texturing and uh, stretching performed very well but the taste the resulting taste of the milk is very bland it's almost like watery I could hardly taste the milk and Alaska again it is um, tasting a lot like evaporated milk in can texturing and um, stretching well the texturing performed well but stretching was a bit of a non-performer so among this five in terms of steamed milk I guess uh, I would say that the best performer is Emborg in terms of ranking I would go for Emborg one Jolly Cow second um, and the, the other three, well, I suppose um, if you have no other choice, then I would suggest that you go for Alaska. Now, these are only five brands. There are many other brands that are available in the market. Um, my personal favorite in the Philippines is Anchor. There's also Cowhead, the Lecta, Bear brand, Magnolia, many different brands. So if you'd like to really make sure that you get good tasting milk to complement your good coffee, then go out there and test a few brands. Because this one performed the best, I am going to do a full process of steaming, pulling my espresso shots and steaming, and let's see how it pours. That's all I would like to share with you today. Don't forget to check out my books, All Things Milk Tea and The Basic Barista. Details on how to order in the description box below. Also, click that subscribe button for more of these reviews. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.